everyone, Susan Winter here, came to say hi because I know that you're online dating. Everybody does. I'm actually recording this on the first Sunday, right after New Year. And thank you to Mona Hoffman, colleague of mine from Dates and Mates. She put out on an Instagram post that today, Sunday, the first Sunday of the New Year is the number one time when everyone Everyone is online looking for love. This message is evergreen, so please don't think it's only for January. So many people are finding love online, but the scam artists are getting better. It's not what we knew in the past with bad grammar and weird punctuation. They work as a consortium. You're not dealing with one person. There are leaderboards on everything you like, where you stand in the closing process until they can get money from you. And this is a half a billion dollar industry. I know you think you're smart. I know you think it would never happen to you. And I am seeing this happen to smart, capable, streetwise professionals, even friends of mine. As I'm watching them do it, they are in the middle of it and they don't want to see it. So I'm going to give you the big five to watch out for. Easy breezy and I'm going to tell you how this works out. Number one, they're unable to meet. For whatever reason, they're in the military, they have a contract abroad, they're working in a foreign country, they're visiting a relative, they're on a business trip, or the new version of this is that they want to take their time to get to know you because they've been hurt before and they've been scammed online and they want to build a conversation with you and just take it slowly. There are many, these are the themes that I'm talking about. These are the five big themes. There are a multitude of variations. And while we get better at noting who these people are, they get better at finding ways around it. So one, they're just not available to meet you quickly. That is number one. Anybody who really wants to meet you, they're going to do it within a week or 10 days. So there's always hesitation to meet you. Even if you think you've got somebody that seems like they're a real person, but then they keep pushing the date back and back, you really have to question. All right. Number two, they want to get your number immediately and get you off the app because this is like the lone coyote that comes out in a community such as this to try and get the dogs to come out on the golf course and play. But what the dog doesn't know is that when the coyote runs off into the desert, a pack are waiting to attack. Okay. You're not dealing with one person. You are dealing with a group of people that take turns and each contribute and follow the storyline of what's going on here. So in order to get you isolated, they need to get you off the app. They will ask for your telephone number immediately, or they will try to put you on some kind of encrypted program. Like they will put you on, they want to communicate on telegram, on Google chat, on messenger or on WhatsApp. And you have to say to yourself, I'm already talking to you here. Why do I need to be transferred there? Good reason they are separating you from the pack because actually they want you off the dating site so they can close the deal. All right. Number three, the conversations, if you actually get into communication, they're continual. Okay. That's part of the allure. They're coming all the time, but there seems to be, uh, they're just a little bit off at times. Um, and that's because they're shifting players. They're also using GBT chat to put in context to just keep the conversation going. My friend got one about good morning, love. Uh, I hope you're having a good morning. So, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day and that will set your mood and your energy for the entire day. So make sure you have a good breakfast. And she's reading this going, what is this? So really the number one thing out of everything that I'm going to tell you is if it feels off, it's probably off. They are handing this script off to other people. 
All right. So you have to know that there's going to be some weird things. And normally the people who do this tell you that they're foreign born. That's kind of um, that is a bit of a hall pass for the fact that we know that we're going to have some flubs from time to time. One of our colleagues is going to take over when we're napping or trying to close the deal on somebody else and they may not have the same speech pattern. So this is a script. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Every bit of information you get, every photograph you get, it's a part of a clue and foreshadowing of a later event. Now remember, you've already begun with the fact that they cannot see you for some reason, right? My friend showed me a picture of the guy with his mother. I said, interesting. I said, so the mother lives abroad, correct? She said, my God, how did you know? I said, oh, I'm just guessing because she's going to come up in act three where the reason he can't come back to see you is because he's got to pay for her medical costs and he spent all of it and he doesn't have plane fare now and if he just had that he could finally be with you there is no photograph or no bit of information that is not used as a foreshadowing of something to come later so while i'd love you to all be open to the idea of love and think okay this is probably a real person you have to know if you're looking at things like this and thinking, oh, what a nice guy, he's got a picture of his mom, whatever, you know, just put that with a little pin in your mind because scam artists use this as foreshadowing, all right? And again, they would be with you if. It is always a question of if they could just get to meet you, if they could just finish their contract or their electric equipment in the middle of this um, rig out in the ocean, the oil rig would work if they just had the money and they don't have it, their funds are tied up. Oh, it gets very elaborate. All right, and the last thing is your vulnerability. I know. I know, you, you don't have it. You're not vulnerable. You're smart, you're streetwise, you know everything. Don't ever underestimate that the heart will leap past the mind. We all want to love and be loved. And there's nothing more exciting than thinking that somebody wants us and somebody we find engaging. And remember, the scam artists are brilliant. They are poetic. They're appealing to everything about us. They are the ultimate salespeople to be able to pick every word. And if you love water polo, they love water polo. And if you're an environmentalist, that's the most important thing in the world. They are so good at this. This is their job. And we can lose ourselves in hope, in the beauty of our dream. And here's the rub. We need to have hope and to take that leap in order to fall in love and in order to let love into our lives. But when you're online and dating, you must stay aware and stay attuned to what's going on. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Is a person you're looking at a 10? Okay. Is that your caliber? Is that what you are? Are they way out of your league? Are they just, you're looking at them going, God, you're so good looking. Why are you, I mean, you're really attractive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it seems off, it is. So proceed with caution. If you have any questions, please contact me. Go to SusanWinter.net. Go to the contact page. Um, you can send a video request and I can answer your questions there or set up a consultation and I'll be able to walk you through everything. Happy dating everyone and you can indeed find love online but you must be smart and know that this is a business for many of the people you encounter. Don't take it personally. It is what it is and happy dating. You will be fine. Take care now.